channel. Today we're going to continue with my makeup declutter series. Today is part four and I believe part four we're tackling bullet lipsticks. Yes, if you're new here to my channel, hi, my name is Jess and I love makeup, but I especially love lip products. So this is really hard. I do have a lot of lip products because I just love everything. I love glosses, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. I love it all. If you guys missed part one, two, and three, I will have my playlist and all those videos linked down below in the description box. So make sure to check that out. Grab a drink, grab a coffee. I've got some coffee here because this is going to be a long video. I can't help it. You know, when I get to swatching, I get to swatching. <laughs> Um, as a disclaimer, please don't ask me for my used makeup. Um, anything gently used, I can pass on to friends or family if they want it. I'm going to try to donate what I can, but again, everything's been pretty heavily, uh, you know, touched, swatched, and used. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get right into it because girlfriend, just wait till you see how many lip, let me tell you what, my skin was so raw after filming this video. Anyways, let's go and get into today's part four of my makeup declutter series. Let's just hop right into it. <laughs> all right, so here are all of my bullet lipsticks. This is what we're starting out with. I think the best way to do this is actually to do it in order like I am doing. I'm doing all bullet lipsticks today and I wanna do swatches of all the colors, but in each category, so like nudes, reds, burgundies, etc. All right, so I'm starting with these nudes here first. These are very like pale, like uh, this one here, I think I'm gonna get rid of, but I've got like the palest of the pale. Um, I'm actually not gonna swatch this one because it's way past its expiration date, but this is Natural Nymph from e.l.f. You guys remember the mineral lipsticks? This used to be a coveted <laughs> nude lip color. It's like that concealer nude. It's expired, it needs to go bye-bye, so I'm just gonna pull this out right now and let you know I'm gonna declutter it. All right, so I started swatching and some of these I had to move out. So I've got these five lipsticks here. So this really interesting lipstick is from Emily Alexandra Cosmetics. I'm gonna get rid of this. The formula has changed completely. It's completely dried out and it's just kind of weird. It has these little like fish scales on it to look like a mermaid. I like the concept, but this formula is not good. And this color, <laughs> if you can even see it, it's a weird peachy nude, but it's not very flattering on my skin tone at all. These type of nudes look so bad on me. The next one I'm also gonna get rid of, it's from Melt. It's one of the Melt Minis in the shade Dilemma. This also is a really weird nude shade on me. It's like, like a yellow undertoned, nude it's really bizarre it does not look good on me at all so i'm actually gonna get rid of this i don't like it and then the last three we have nude from melt i'm 100 keeping it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever it's so creamy this is one of my favorite bullet lipstick formulas you guys i'm obsessed with the melt lipsticks now i know that they recently redid their lipsticks so i haven't tried them yet this is the original old formula before they changed the packaging yeah i'm definitely keeping nude it's one of my favorite nude lipsticks ever next to that i have forever nude from bh cosmetics these have been discontinued and i'm actually going to get rid of this one just because it's very similar to nude from melt and i prefer that one anyways and this one is getting pretty darn old <laughs> so it's time to let this one go and then the last one here on the end this is from essence and this is a new one to my collection it's uh, their semi-matte lipstick formula in the shade 12 loyal. I love this. This is one of my favorite nudes I've been reaching for this a lot lately and I'm definitely keeping this one. So this is nude love from essence I don't know if they still sell these lipsticks or not. I Love this one. This is such a moisturizing nude lipstick. This is my second one I'm actually gonna keep this because I love the formula so much this one from elf. I think I'm gonna get rid of it's super old They discontinued these lipsticks. It's the beautifully bare satin lipsticks. This is the shade touch of pink 
So this third one here is from e.l.f. It's the Mineral Lipstick in Runway Pink. This was my favorite for so many years. They discontinued the Mineral line forever ago. I wore this on my wedding day. It really holds a special place in my heart. So that's the only reason I keep it. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to find a dupe for it. If you guys know of a good dupe, please let me know. This one is kind of similar, this one from e.l.f., but it's not quite the same. Not the same formula and it's more pink pink. This is more like muted pink, so. I'm still on the hunt for a dupe. This one I'm gonna get rid of. This one is from the Away Studio. This is in the shade Shore and mine's broken. I can't even twist it up. Um, the formula is nice and creamy, but I just never reach for it. So I'm gonna let go of this one. All right, and the last one here is a little bit darker than the other ones. This is from Milani. I love the bold matte lipsticks from Milani. They're so stinking good. They did send me the full collection. So I definitely wanna try to narrow it down, but I am obsessed with this formula. It's so nice. It's one of my favorite like bullet lipsticks from the drugstore. This is in I Am Smart 04. All right, moving on to this row here. So these are more like, we're getting to like the darker pinks and I've got a few like dusty rose mauve colors, which is one of my favorite type of lipsticks to wear. So starting over here, I have Real Her Cosmetics I Am A Leader. Honestly, I don't really reach for this one that much. So I'm gonna actually let this one go. The next one is from Lauren Conrad Beauty. And this is in the shade Shell. I love this so much. I reach for this even to this day. <laughs> it's still going strong. I'm gonna keep this one. All right, next up, the third one down is also from the AOE Studio line. This is in the shade Guava. I never reach for this one. This color just really doesn't flatter me that much. I don't know. I'm just not that thrilled with it. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. All right. And the next one down, we have Old Rose for Melt, you guys. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not getting rid of my Melt lipsticks. These are my coveted favorite formula ever. And I love every single one. Like there is not a single Melt lipstick I don't love. Again, the original formula, not the new ones, but I love it so much. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> This does help me to like see them all swatched out. So this one is from Essence and this is also new to me. This is 15 Charming from their semi-matte finish. Oh my God. Talk about beautiful formula. This color is to die for. I love it. Perfect pinky nude rose. Another bold matte lipstick from Milani and I am fabulous. And this color is fabulous. It's a much deeper uh, rosy nude but it's so lovely. Oh, I love this one. I, I actually do reach for this one quite a bit. All right, a new lipstick to my collection. This is my new favorite, like dusty, dead girl, rosy, nude, grayish, kind of like that grayish color. This is Healing Stone for, from uh, Necromancy Cosmetica. I love this color so much. It's definitely more of a matte lipstick, like it's pretty matte, but it gets creamier the more you use it and you like get down to the middle, like center of the lipstick. Very cool toned, easy to wear. Oh my goodness, obsessed. <laughs> Love that one so, so much. This one here is from Melt and it's in Laced and it's kind of like a weird nude color. I wasn't sure where to put this in my swatches but I really do like this one. It's unique and different, and this is in Laced. All right, so these are my last like weird nude colors. You can see they're like really unique and different. So this one right here is almost like a green, like army green, brown. It's just so unique and different. This is from Melt Cosmetics, and it's in the shade Tomboy. Next to that, we have also from Melt. It's called 710. And it's just a really like brownish gold. It's just so unique. I didn't know where to put this. So I thought I would put it in with my weird lipstick shades. And then the last one there on the corner is from Necromancy Cosmetica. This is also new to me. Terra Matter. And it's this really deep kind of like brown, but it leans kind of olive like an olive green. I don't know, it's just such a unique dark, dark color. Um, I'm keeping all of these. They're beautiful and unique and different. And then the last one I have is Old Fashioned right here. And this is so beautiful. It's like a perfect grungy lip color for fall. All right, so moving on, I have four random shades here that I wasn't sure where to put, like what category, I don't know. So I'm just gonna swatch them really quickly here. I've got these two little minis here. One from Bite Beauty and Chai. I'm actually gonna let go of this. I never reached for it. It's already getting pretty old. 
This one is from Melt. It's their little uh, mini lipstick that came in that set. Um, this is in the shade Saucy, and I actually really love this formula. This one seems really creamy. Some of these are hit or miss. Some of them feel really dry. Um, I think I'm gonna keep it for now. And then the last two here are from the Beautifully Bare Lipsticks. I'm actually gonna pass these along. I have the shade Touch of Blush and Touch of Berry. They're just very, very old. I don't reach for these anymore, and I'm gonna finally get rid of these. All right, moving on. Oh my gosh, I hope the skin of my hand doesn't like fall off tonight. <laughs> this is a lot of swatching. Okay, let's start with this top row. This is from Real Hair Cosmetics, and I am enough. This is one of my favorite nude lipsticks. It's like a brown nude, definitely one of my go-tos. So creamy, I love this formula. I'm definitely going to be keeping. The next one I'm actually gonna get rid of, it's the Beautifully Bare Lipstick from e.l.f. in Touch of Nude. I don't like how this looks on me anymore. I don't know, I just, I don't reach for it as much, so I'm gonna actually let this one go. Next to that we have Milani I Am Pretty, another favorite nude of mine. This is gonna be really hard, you guys, because I love these types of like brownish nudes. I'm definitely keeping this one, I love it. Next we have Melt Voyeur. This is a really interesting nude. I probably could have put this with my weird nude lipsticks, but it's a really interesting undertone. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really unique and pretty and I am keeping this one. The next one I have is I Am Worthy from Milani. And honestly, this looks so similar to this one from Real Hair Cosmetics. I might have to do like a swatch battle between those two to see if which one I can keep because they look so darn similar. All right, the next one, which is right here, this is another Melt Mini in the shade Shameless. I'm gonna get rid of this one because this just doesn't look that great on my skin tone when I wear it. And then the last one on that row, we have another Melt Mini in Undercover, and I love this one. It's so beautiful. It's like a deep nude. I don't know, maybe it does lean a little bit more pink, but I am gonna keep this one. I really like it. All right, and the last nude Melt Mini, this one right here, Swatch. This one is in Suntan, and this again, I love this. This is like a deep, burnt, sunburn, brown, like, not terracotta, but I don't know, something about this undertone is really unique, and this actually looks really pretty on my skin tone when I wear it. I definitely need to get this out and wear it more often. All right, let's continue with this row here. The second shade here I have is another this is actually a pretty old one for Milani, and I'm actually gonna let this go. The formula is kind of changing on this one, and these are very, very old lipsticks, but they have held out a very, very long time. I also don't reach for this shade as much as some of my other like brown nudes. So Matte Beauty, while it is a beauty, I'm gonna let her go, because it's pretty similar to some of these other ones that I love. Next, we have Mum from Melt, and this is one of my favorite fall lipsticks ever. It's like the most rusty, brick brown, a little bit red, a little bit orange. It's just, oh, it's everything and more. This goes so well with the Melt Cosmetics Rust Eyeshadow Palette. The next shade over we have I Am Radiant. I'm actually, I'm thinking I might get rid of this one. Again, this type of color, I don't really reach for. I prefer like these type of tones. So, oh, this is so painful because I love this formula so much. All right, and the last two, of course, this one from Melt in Catsuit. It's very dark, love this one. And then the last swatch here, we have I Am Positive. I am definitely keeping this one. This is such a unique color. It's like a dark brown, but it has that kind of like warm, earthy undertone, like a brick color or terracotta. I don't know. It's just, it's so pretty and unique. I don't have anything else like this in my makeup collection. And then these two, if you remember, I was kind of undecided because they seemed very similar. So I have I Am Enough. Let's see how similar they are. I Am Enough from Real Her Cosmetics. Oh God, that formula is so creamy. And then I Am Worthy from Milani. So that's Milani, and then that's one. that one is from Real Hair Cosmetics. I mean, that's like almost exactly the same. I would say the one from Real Hair has a tiny bit more pink in it, and this one leans more brown. Honestly, I wanna keep both of them <laughs> because I love this color so much. And again, this is more of an indie brand. This is more of a drugstore brand, so 
I'm gonna keep both, I know. Don't judge me, okay? I love lipstick. I'm, I'm trying my best here, okay? I'm actually getting rid of quite a few. Wait till you see how many, you guys. It adds up really fast. All right, so I have this little row here of like bright lipsticks. Again, I wasn't sure where to categorize them, so I just kept them together, which is fine with me. And I think the only one I'm gonna get rid of is probably this one here, but let's go through all of them. So first swatch here, we have Real Hair Cosmetics. I am amazing. This is the perfect carrot neon orange. And I only keep a couple of bright colors in my collection in case I do like a tutorial or something and I wanna have some fun. I'm gonna keep this beautiful bright orange. The next one is I Am Bold from Milani. Love this one, it's the perfect hot pink and this is the only pink, hot pink lipstick I own. Next we have I Am Happy, which is this beautiful kind of like a pink mango coral. It's just such a unique color. And I don't have that many coral lipsticks because it's so hard to find a balance between them looking good on me, I guess you could say. So I am gonna be keeping this one as well. It's just a beautiful like in between these two shades. This one I'm gonna let go of because I don't like how it makes my teeth look yellow. And that's an old one from Milani. This is their like matte matte lipsticks in the gold packaging. This is matte blissful. It really does make my teeth look ugly. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this. It's super, super old. All right, I'm actually gonna let go of this one too, even though I love this shade. I just probably need to repurchase this. All right, we're moving on to reds. If you are new here to my channel, I am not a huge fan of red lipstick. <laughs> Especially a bullet lipstick. I feel like a liquid to matte, I'm definitely preferring in the more deeper, hard to wear colors that can transfer or get on your teeth. Let's start right here. This is like a really dark, almost like a red brown. It's very, very deep. This is from Milani. This is in the shade I Am Confident. I'm actually gonna let this one go. All right, the next swatches along here are all from Melt. This is part of the Limitless Reds collection. I was super, super disappointed in the formula of these. I loved all of the nudes. Loved the warm nudes, the reds. I don't know what is going on, but all of them are so dry. Do you see like how dry and sheer they look? And even when I go to swatch them, they feel dry. Like they tug on the skin. I mean, if this is their new formula for Melt, I am really, really disappointed in the, in the company. Also the packaging, like the little inserts keep popping out. There's like a little plastic insert, it keeps popping out. So I'm not too happy with these. If you guys encountered the same issue, please tell me in the comments. I hope I'm not alone in this, <laughs> or maybe I am alone. Um, I didn't email the company because I just, I don't know. I was so excited at the time. I just didn't want to deal with it. So um, I, again, I do have a full like lip swatch video on both of these sets already on my channel. So I don't feel bad anymore getting rid of them. And I don't say that very often about a product, but if it's bad, I'm gonna be honest with you and tell you, I don't care if it's gifted to me or sent to me in PR or whatever. Yeah, those are gonna go. So these three lipsticks are the only reds that I really have in my collection in terms of like bullet lipsticks. This one is limited edition from uh, ColourPop. This is from the Hocus Pocus collection. It's in the shade Winnie. It's their cream lipstick. And can I just say, most beautiful red. I mean, if I want to wear red, it's gonna be this kind of red. It's just like a true classic red lipstick. This is such a creamy formula. And the packaging, can we just appreciate? You best believe I'm keeping this. I mean, look at the artwork. Oh, I just love it. Absolutely stunning. Since I'm keeping that as like a collector's item, I don't know how often I'm gonna use that to be honest with you, because the packaging is just so pretty. Um, I'm actually gonna keep these two lipsticks from Milani. I have I Am Motivated, which is this one here. And then this one's more of like a bright, like pink undertone red, and that's I Am Fierce. And I love this red. I actually have worn this on occasion. To, to have two wearable red lipsticks is pretty good in my collection and I'm pretty proud of myself. All right guys, last but not least, we're moving on to my purple lipsticks. I do have quite a few, so I'm starting with the lighter ones first and then I have my like vampy purples and like 
you know, black. <laughs> so let's start with this one here, the lightest purple. This is from Medusa's Makeup in the shade Rose. And this is like a pale, pale lavender gray purple. I like this color, but I don't like how slippery. Do you see that? Like it's just so creamy. Something about the formula is just too slippery for me and it doesn't mix well with other formulas of lipstick. So I'm actually gonna get rid of this one. Next up, we have this one from NYX. It's the Suede Matte Lipstick in the shade Violet Smoke. I absolutely love this lipstick color. Again, hate this formula. Oh my goodness. It is so slippery, just like that Medusa's makeup formula. I don't like a slippery formula in my lipstick because it gets on my teeth. It bleeds outside the lip line. It transfers like crazy. Love this color. I would love to be able to find a dupe for this because this undertone is everything to me. <laughs> All right, moving on, we have Stepford from Melt, another favorite of mine. This is, again, a, it's like a really deep purple. I know it doesn't look purple in this watch, but when I wear this, it's like a deep, cool purple gray. Next we have Matte Glam from Milani. I'm actually going to get rid of this because this is so old and the formula is actually changed. Um, the last time I used this, it was okay, but now it's just very, very dry and patchy. Now this one I'm actually going to keep since I'm getting rid of that Milani one. This is um, the Bold Matte Lipstick from Milani and I am cool. And this is the perfect cool tone purple. Absolutely amazing, so pretty and vibrant. I don't reach for this as much as I used to reach for bright purples, but it's nice to have this color in my collection to play around with it. All right, so the final three here. This one is from KVD Beauty. It's a little mini in Wolves Mouth. This is uh, very much discontinued. It is a beautiful shade, but it's so old and it doesn't really hold that place in my heart anymore like it used to. Um, and I feel like this shade here is pretty close. It's not exact, but it's close enough. The shade next to it is I Am Powerful from Milani. I'm actually gonna keep this one because I think this is a good alternative. It's not exact. This is definitely more purple. This one leans a little bit more burgundy uh, and it does have a shimmer to it. This has a matte finish, but I'm hoping that this can replace that color. Again, I'm not that crazy about it as I used to be back in the day, so um, I think I'm gonna keep this one. This one I'm actually going to declutter. This is from e.l.f. It's in the shade Orchid. Again, this formula is getting really dried out. I don't even think they sell this color anymore. I think they're just continuing these lipsticks. I used to have all of them at one time. You guys remember back in the day, I used to review a lot of e.l.f. when they were really dirt cheap <laughs> and I would do like full collection reviews and swatches. All right, guys, we've come down to the final lipsticks. These are all of my dark, vampy, purpley, just super, super vampy dark colors. That's what I'm gonna call them, my vampy like purples. So I'm gonna keep this one from Milani. It's called I Am Strong. And I am gonna keep that one at least for right now until I can find something similar to it in like a liquid lipstick form. Next we have I Am Victorious. And I'm really torn <laughs> because most of these look so similar. All right, I think I'm gonna keep this one because I really love it. It's so vampy and dark. Matte Fearless, I think I'm gonna let this one go. And then this one I'm also gonna let go of because it's pretty old. This is Vampy Violet from e.l.f. I don't even know if they still sell it or not. Again, I feel like these two are so, so similar. So if you miss this shade from e.l.f., get this one from Milani because it's not discontinued. Um, so number 23, I Am Victorious is a good option. So this is I Am A Goddess from Real Hair Cosmetics. It's this one right here. Again, really plummy purple. This formula is wonderful, but I don't like it in a really dark color anymore. I'm going to actually get rid of this. Oh God, that's so painful, but I'm going to do it. All right. And last but not least, my one and only bullet lipstick in black. And this is called I Am Invincible. Also from the Bold Matte Lipsticks from Milani. Uh, but for right now, I am gonna keep this one and only black lipstick. All right, guys, so this is everything that I am decluttering today. I think I did really well. I think I did better than last year. So I'm really proud of myself. I'm gonna be honest with you, a lot of these have been so heavily used and they're way past their expiration date. So I roughly counted about like around 32 lipsticks that I'm decluttering, so not bad. I think I did pretty good. That's everything I'm getting rid of. 
All right, and here's everything that I am keeping. I counted about 36 lipsticks, so I almost cut my bullet lipsticks down in half, which is pretty insane to me because you guys know I love lipstick so much. So yeah, I'm pretty proud of myself. So that's everything, you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's declutter. And I, I think I did pretty good. I got rid of a lot of lipsticks. I'm really proud of myself. Pat myself on the back because again, I love lipsticks so, so much. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'd love to have you join the family. I talk about cruelty free beauty here on my channel. I do a little bit of everything, makeup declutters. I'm doing a project pan this year. So uh, make sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you won't miss out on videos on Tuesdays and Fridays every week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series so far. And again, everything will be linked down below if you guys want to check out the other videos. And without further ado, I will see you in the next video. Bye.